Wednesday, day one of the CrossFit Games, and uh, it's time for Jazz and I to take you legends through what we're gonna go and see and hopefully get some cool stuff and you know how it is? <laughs> Bringing that level of good endorphins up, you know, get the, get the day started with a sprinkle of endorphins. Hey, this is going all humid. Maybe the legends are hot. Best meme so far at the CrossFit Games, chalk llamas. Summoning the CrossFit gods to make sure Pat Valner doesn't bomb an event on day one. We all know Patty V over the last couple of years has had a, had a few mishaps. But maybe this year's his year. Just maybe. He's been practicing on that swimming. And it's a full swim, so who knows? Weather forecast looks ominous. I like that word. 100% yeah. chance of rain. Yeah, and Craig's told me to leave the brolly in the car. If it rains, the bike is going to get very interesting. And also them jerks. So that's how I just hope it doesn't. Damn, Colosseum. Welcome to Madison, Wisconsin and the Noble CrossFit Games. The CrossFit community is coming together once again to crown the fittest man and woman on Earth. And hey, just like that, it was the start of the 2022 CrossFit Games. Would Tia Claire Toomey take her sixth consecutive CrossFit title? Or would one of the youth or rookies take the crown and cause an upset? The female field took to the floor first and opened up the whole event. And it was an interesting fight. Laura Horvath on the first five laps after the toes to bar set off at a blistering pace and opened up quite a gap. And that was the gap, which was a big one to come back from. But one thing Laura and a lot of the other athletes didn't take into account was that drafting would be a huge thing in energy preservation and overall speed on the bike. So we kind of saw Laura show up and blow up in that second round. Now, it wasn't just the start of the event for the athletes. It was the start of the event for the coaches. And we, <laughs> we saw Shane Orr very briefly. <laughs> Even at the peak of stress and following to around, you can still find time to be funny. That's why we love Shane. But the opening event win went to Hayley Adams with a time of 38.23. Three seconds ahead of Tia Claire Toomey and taking that third space spot, Emma Lawson. Now, Laura Horvath did blow up, but she still got fifth because she's an incredible athlete on the bike. Now, this next clip is just gold. Like, I don't know what the reaction's for, but... um. Maybe it's when she got told that the next event that she would be doing, she'd be in a leader's jersey. Just found out what it was, and it, and it was because of this. One of the fittest women on earth, one of the best runners in CrossFit, sent it a little too soon. I didn't have a uh, high expectation on the bike, so I'm very happy that the damage control is, is okay, like it's in control. But I lost freaking two places because on the changing, like on the last, on the finish line basically, on the yellow line, we had to stop and run with the bike. How I stopped, I just fall on the ground and then I had to pick up my bike and run, so two girls passed me, but lesson learned. Just I was doing Chester Bar in a helmet. I didn't even notice that I have a helmet on. Like I was just in the zone, so it was fun, extra weight. So you and Mal got your nails done together? Yeah, so Mal always gets this color, just like a beige. And then I always do a gold for the games. And then she was she was like, should I just do all black and just 
like really and I was like let's do a touch of black because she was like I want to do all black but I'm also afraid like I've only ever seen this color on my nails before that it's going to distract me when I look down and I see black nails so I was like let's just do a pop so she has exactly the same exactly the same the, win the winning nail. Behind the scenes content we all wanted to know. In case, in case you guys were curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the things you learn on these vlogs, eh? The things you learn. But then it was time for the mails. And it's lights out and away they go. I've wanted to say that. As they set off and ran down the field, the question was, is Justin Medeiros going to repeat? Is he going to go back to back games championships or are we going to see a brand new fittest on earth? Also, the other question is, will we see this in the open? And uh, people have already been practicing. Yeah, that's right. Uh, gymnastics and kipping with the helmet on for safety, you know? So basically what we're doing is making the trolls quiet because now we've made kipping safer. Little bit of controversy around this event. Chaos struck when multiple athletes appeared to miss laps. Judges called in judges called in Lazar Dukic and Spencer Pancic one lap early. But the overall winner of the event, Ricky Garrard on his return back to CrossFit and on the big stage. Just ahead of Yonikoski who was leading most of the event, but Yona's bike was right at the end of the part that you had to run and Ricky's was closer. So even though it looked like Yona was in the lead a lot of the time, which he probably was, at the end that run made all the difference. First event at the CrossFit Games done, man. Yes, unbelievable. Damn. Yeah, but the streak, incredible grip. Perfect, yeah. Hey. You said it was going to be fun. Was it fun? The first ride, no, honestly, it was not fun. But, um, it took me a while to figure out the slipstream, and then in the second five mile, I figured that out, and it was like half the amount of effort. So you, let, you, you win and you lose, I guess. Who were you slipstreaming off? Uh, on the second one, Cole Sager for a while, and then I passed him. I was like, Cole, jump on! I need to, I need to repay you back this one. So. And I told him that at the end, he appreciated it. So we're all good. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. I'll take it. From the team, thank you for drafting for Jay. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, I was just looking out for him. He literally thanked me after the event. Like he came up to me here, like, bro, like, thank you for that. You pulled me along. So, actually, in the middle of the event, we literally, like. He was drafting off of me and he like kind of slingshotted around me and he said he's like bro thanks come on like let's go work together we i caught back up to, he actually kind of broke the band on me but the next lap i was able to catch up we worked together for a little bit it so was, is it was, was it like a best friends moment and no like truly like i was like we just connected on a deep level yeah. jay's my boy now so I, i've always liked him but now we're now we're on a deep level a few little mishaps few little mislaps but um event one done but anyway next up we have the teams, and then the individual event. Bosman was actually testing the floor to see if it was slippery. There he is, manager. Oh, <laughs> we got to blur him out. No one. He doesn't. He doesn't want to be known. We'll put an emoji over his face. Yeah. Thank you, James. Bye, James. <laughs> Bye, James. <laughs> He's definitely not called James. <laughs> We're actually taking shelter. Yeah. Keep yes. moving. It's coming, you can see it. Okay, let's run. Severe weather, because you are creating a whirlwind of content. <laughs> I am the storm. I know you come here, team, for the, obviously, behind the scenes and whatnot, and this is exactly what's happening right now. People are evacuating. It has the sign that says severe weather incoming. You can see it in the distance. And uh, take a shower. So instead, I'm gonna, so I might actually do a go wad. Severe weather is approaching. Take shelter or return to your vehicles. What's up? What's up? How are you? Uh, do you get nervous? Yes. Or are you just chilled on the side? No, no, I'm not chilled. I'm pretty nervous. There's no yeah. chill here. No, no. So. Invested both for Gabby and for Laura. I can't imagine the stress. To be fair, <laughs> sister and girlfriend. You can't. You can't do anything. Yeah. Everything's out of your hand. You just want them to pick up the ball, run a little faster. That's just like I'm just gonna lose my voice by the end of this day. So this is really what goes on behind the scenes. This is not fun. No. Is he treating you well? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Send help. laughs> this is gonna help me. This is gonna help me. This is 
focus on the next one. Yeah. Uh, like, I lost it on the chest bar, which is supposed to be my strength. And that is like... Uh, no, 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 it's not, not to do with that. I, I just... I don't know what happened, to be honest. I crashed a bit. <laughs> uh, focus on the next one. It's, I think it's, it's nice to just get going. You know, now you're in it. Um, and I just have to learn, take use this as like a learning experience because it's... This, this is not how I want to feel after a workout. Like, I want to feel like, just want to finish it knowing that I did everything I could do, you know? So. It is what it is. It is On to the next is. one. Yeah, yeah. On to the next one. We'll see if we There's do this one. Like, what are they going to do here? Hello, is Th Thurry's boyfriend and coach, or? Yeah. Depends. Y yes and no. Yes. So she had COVID three weeks ago? Y yes. Okay, two weeks ago, she came out of like, she was not more like had to be in the bed, stay in bed. And you're saying back there in the athlete area, they're all asleep. Everyone's sleeping. Mostly everyone here is sleeping. It's pretty. It's pretty fun to see everyone just lying on the ground. Yeah. You just. You look like you're just about to like walk out into like a football stadium or something, you know, or NBA player or. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's. That's okay. No rest tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Update: They've moved event two, which is the outdoor one of day one to tomorrow when the athletes had a rest day uh, but they're still doing the Coliseum events so three and four tonight <laughs> What are you laughing at? <laughs> We've got yeah. the <laughs> That's the sign for opening uh, ceremony <laughs> Open the ceremony ah, Open the ceremony Yeah, what's in, what's in the athlete cooler? A full <laughs> bottle <laughs> <laughs> Like Never be too Super careful. Important. You gotta have, like you, you might need a barbecue sauce. Flavor is the spice of life. It is. <laughs> when yeah. you need a quick shot of sugar, yeah. just down just that. Water, yeah. banana for, for her, and then set up a stand out there. You know that. I, I, I can go in like go in where the coaches go, and then go straight in and just start selling. Yep. <laughs> right, you know this guy has style because he's wearing a hustle made hat, but also. <laughs> what? A, that's a t-shirt and half. That's that real right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real. <laughs> Oh my god, it's Cole Sager. Hello, how was the first event? It's called, uh, how did Cole do? Oh, I did well. I did really well. Also, I miss being competing because I'm Scott too. Yeah. <laughs> Man of the Hustle Channel, what did you do to me at, in Amsterdam? Yeah, I met you at the Lowlands Throwdown for the first time and I told you I'll do everything I can to get to the, to the games. Did it. <laughs> Thanks, man. What a legend. <laughs> I appreciate it. With the chaos of the storm, the athletes are just getting bodywork done in like the, the little media bit. Interesting. Interesting. Why you got, you got to do this to me? You got makeup on. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, that's why I'm you, know. you think this complexion comes naturally? After the rain had passed and the event was cleared to go, it was time for the teams to open up and do their first event, Bike Bob. Throughout the year, the story had been Reykjavik versus Mayhem. The two teams that have really been hyped going head to head, Annie versus Rich, and it was time for that to come to fruition. And making that battle a little bit more exciting was the rumors that this may be Rich Froning's last CrossFit Games. The 10th gold medal is on the line. It could be the dream story. But taking that first event win, CrossFit Oslo Navy Blue. That as strength and depth went six for six on workouts, they just continued their unbroken winning streak to seven. Europe are coming. Yeah. Statement made. Yeah, that was awesome. So I want to give a shout out to CrossFit Games Media for making the attention all about Rachel Vick and Mayhem. That's just fuel for our fire, so we're super pumped. So keep doing that. <laughs> you trained on the bike once before this? Yeah, in Sheboygan. But you know, Ingrid bikes do work every day. I don't think like this kind of biking isn't hard. No. You heard it here first team, CrossFit Games biking isn't hard. <laughs> also, by the way, have you ever seen anything so beautiful as a weightlifter? This is beautiful. Just the water on the place, the sun shining, a little bit of chalk. Yeah. Like a postcard. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a very funny joke here from one of the team. So, they, look at this. What did, what, what did you want to say? So I've just been working really hard and trying to grow my hair out just like Craig's. So let me know what you think. How far I gotta go to reach that level. Valner looks a little bit different off the floor. <laughs> looks a little smaller, but he can... Well done on the events. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Get up, Craig. Get up. <laughs> oh, my next. 
looks. Oh, you're gonna make your mummy look silly on camera. <laughs> He's like, oh, <laughs> nice move. He's like, no. Smooth. It, it was so smooth when the camera was off, but not so much now. Yeah. yeah. Are you an adventurous one now? Someone had to try and get you a playpen. Oh man, he is busy. He's busy. <laughs> Getting the practice in. I don't do weightlifting for nothing. <laughs> I don't know. We're inside, here we go. Coliseum times. The Coliseum, the Alliant Energy Center, the 10,000 plus seater stadium, ready to rock and roll. And it looks beautiful. Good to be home. Damn, the skill speed medley. When I saw this program and I thought it was awesome. A couple of things that I would change, but I'll talk about that in a bit. But we saw a lot of new movements or variations of movements that, you know, are typical in the CrossFit gym. Strict pegboards, so without the use of feet. Pistols, so you had to do multiple on each leg to make them unbroken without your foot touching the floor. It was the first time that we saw double under crossovers be a thing, and that's with the jump rope. And we saw the L-sit up into handstand movement be introduced. Also for the first time at the CrossFit Games we saw single unders and this event one of those things where obviously progressively throughout the three rounds it gets a lot more complex but that first round especially because you had to do the single unders unbroken was a tripping hazard for even some of the best athletes in the world. The biggest story from this event was obviously Tia Claire Toomey not making the top 20, not making the first cut. She tripped on her single unders and the thing is with this event especially that first round you trip you're done. Now watching this from the crowd, super fun first two knockout rounds, the third round, the girls especially really struggled with the double under crossovers. And uh, yeah, the energy kind of just dipped. Now before the males went, Colton Mertens had a moment. Gets a little bit late in the day, you know what I mean? But yeah, personally, I feel like the athletes should have had a little bit more time to understand this movement. Maybe it get released a couple of weeks before so they can practice. Ricky Garrard before the final, when he made the top five, was having a practice in the back. Personally, I would have liked to have seen triple unders. So they did singles in the first round, doubles in the second, and triples in the third. I feel like a lot more athletes would have been a lot more competitive with it. But we did see two finishers of the test, so there's no argument that it is a good one and people can do it. And I'm sure from now on in the future, the athletes will actually, you know, be incorporating this into their training. But anyway, results. Danielle Brandon got 100 points taking the win on the female side. And on the male side, the only two finishers, Nick Matthew taking the overall win and 100 points. And Guy Malieros took second, finishing the whole course. Justin Medeiros did get up. He did get off the hands down parallels, just didn't quite pass the line. And yeah, interesting one. Put your thoughts and comments down below. Did you like it? Did you not? Feel like it was a talking point of the day. Best audience. Yeah, you know, we got a match. Formal night at the CrossFit Games. Formal night, yeah. You know, Wednesday night, you gotta dress up a little. Bring the heat. You wanna show up at your best at the beginning of the week. Yeah. Now the final workout of the day saw two firsts. The first time that we've ever seen the Traverse Bars put in a CrossFit Games workout. And with Emma Lawson going into event four in the leader's jersey, we saw the youngest ever person to be in a leader's jersey at 17 years old. Now we managed to catch up with Ariel Lowen, reigning fittest mother in USA, who won this event. And she took us through the process and what it felt like. We sat and had dinner with them. <laughs> you stop it. No, I'm serious. So, you won the dip workout last night. Yeah. Take me that? through it. Okay, so I'll take you through my mental, um, what went on in my mind. I started the event and I motioned over to my PT friend who's here and I was like, take a picture because I'm literally in the lane over from Tia Toomey. And then three, two, one, we start the event and we're like, I'm keeping up with them. And I'm like, cool, did I go out too hot? So we get to the round of nine and I'm like, 
we're literally on the same reps right now. I'm gonna jog to the pull-up bar faster because I feel good. And then from there, I was just, I just sent it because I was like, I can't fail nine and nine and nine. But yeah, because it was in the threes, wasn't it? It's was in the threes, yeah. Mm. And then I just remember thinking like, I'm gonna win this event. And I was like, my family's here. My husband's gonna be so proud. It was so I was proud. Fun. Pride. Yeah. Yep. He was like, at one point, I stopped cheering because I was crying. He's like, uh, uh, go, Ariel. <laughs> So, did you awesome. know before that you were good at dips? No, I no. I want to know what I told her. I told her her dip sucked. I did. I right said that. Before the event. Yep. Because I mean, I just, um, man, I was so wobbly. I had no idea, like, how to kip. Yeah. But I got out there and it was just like, phys it was nature. yeah, yeah, physics took over. <laughs> so when she was dipping, uh, the first time she was, like, pulling her legs forward like this while all the other girls were, like, pumping them up. And so when I seen her do it, I'm like, I'm comparing her to everybody else. I'm like, your dips suck. I was like, you look like an amateur. <laughs> like, look like Maybe the amateur is the way to go, eh? That's right. Yeah, and so, like, I should just shut up. I know. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know nothing. But, like, halfway through the event, Dylan sat next to Haley Adams' coach, um, Tasia, yeah. and Dylan was like, Tasia, why is she trying to hang with them? Like, tell her to slow down. She and then I showed him. <laughs> it was fun. So, where in that workout would you, like, you know, like, was it harder? It looked like it was harder at the start. You know, like the sevens looked worse than the threes. Yeah, the fifteens was the hardest round. You I just kind of had to take a risk. Yeah, you had to take a risk. Hey, I could do this. Yeah. I still feel good. Sometimes it always gives you that extra little adrenaline burst yeah. then, doesn't it? It's happened very rarely for me, but sometimes I overtake Craig on a workout, and I know the feeling. We're going to cut this part out. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna cut this part of the vlog, unfortunately. Like, I've got him, I've got him, I'm no, gonna carry but on. But I think the new movement like got in so many people's heads to where they're like, I can't do dips on bars, and it's like, it's the same. Yeah. Yeah. Even though it's been 10 years since he's done it properly, the gymnastics background paid off for Patrick Valner. As the final workout of the day for the male field, he took the event win by 38 seconds over BKG. Finishing a time of 8.42, he moved beautifully across the bars. It was almost seamless. And towards the end, he had that time to shake his head, know that he'd done it, and then play up for the fans on the final dip, giving them what they want. And then obviously the gymnastics dismount. Afterwards, he got asked about this. And uh, this is what he had to say. What was that reaction from? I'm trying to get better for that. I've been told I need to work on my celebrations, so I'm working on it. Anyway, rounding out day one, this is the top five on the male and female side. Probably not a top five that people would have predicted after day one, but again, it is only day one and everything is to play for. This is only three out of the 12 scored events. So we're a quarter of the way through. 300 points down, 900 to go. Fun and interesting first day. And Jay, we met him again today and he let us know what was sore after yesterday. Your chest is sore. Because people yeah. I saw, like especially on the first ones, were like going to kind of failure. Yeah. Oh, you're like, getting close. And then by like the second set of nine for me, it caught up with me. I was like, uh, uh. <laughs> but um, other than that, pretty good. <laughs> like biceps a little bit from the chest to bar. But other than that, we're good. Just huh. got to bring bring some fire, really. What a beautiful end to the day. Stormy skies always lead to beautiful sunsets. Is that true? I don't know. I don't know, I just made that up, but I might have heard it somewhere. I mean, if it hasn't, I'm definitely taking that one. First day was an interesting one, eh, team? One of those things where it's like CrossFit, you never know what you're going to get. It's like a box of chocolates. No, I can't remember where we parked. Anyway team, tomorrow was obviously going to be a rest day and we were going to chill, but we're going to be back here because the individuals are doing an event 2 A and B. No one's told you today, you're an absolute legend. And you know what, actually it was super cool to meet so many of you and call you legends in people. In, in people? In people. In person. And um how many people we've met already. It's been yeah. so cool. And thank you for the impromptu meet up by the toilets. <laughs> we were just chilling, but we met a lot of you. <laughs> Team, legend, we'll catch you in the next one. 
I never understood this as a as a human <gasps> because in England do it? it doesn't do it. Is that why they do it? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we've lost our car, but then I realised if you open it and lock it again, it no, beeps. You don't have to lock. You don't have to open it. You just oh, wait for the car to go. You ready? It's like, where's my car? That false alarm. Where's my car? <laughs> now I get it. <laughs> there, I can see the flashing lights. Oh, we found the car. This is a great invention. Yeah. What a great idea. Is that really why they do it? That's such a good idea. Press it again. Hey, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. Well remembered for that one. Yeah, because in England, that's not a thing. No. I don't even think it's a thing in Europe. You just wander around the car park until you find it. Yep.